everyone this is hello angel doll design today i'm going to show you how to make this beautiful dress with a lace yoke at the front of the dress and i also use the same lace yoke for the raffle sleeve it's a step-by-step -step tutorial this dress has invisible zipper at the center back so you can use any zipper of your choice Please support us by subscribing, thumbs up on our video. Remember to watch the video until the end so that you don't miss anything out. I have noticed that a lot of people, they don't watch the video. They look at the thumbnail and they are quick to write a comment. Please watch the video. Maybe that question that you're about to ask, I have already explained it on the tutorial. Thank you all so much for watching our video. We appreciate each and every one of you, the new subscriber, the old subscriber, the one that are stopping by. Thank you. Thank you all so much and let's get started first thing that we are going to do we are going to adjust our front pattern paper so this is my back pattern paper i am using four years old pattern paper i'm going to put the back aside so what we are going to do we are going to adjust a little bit from the neckline so you're going to place your measuring tape like this and you take your pen you adjust 0.5 centimeter or you can adjust 0.25 inch still the same so what you are going to do you're going to connect it down to the neckline you take your arm hook off you go ahead and connect it down once you have done that, take your scissors and cut it out. Once you have cut that out, you come back again from the armhole. You can measure inside 0.5 inch or 0.5 centimeter. So you mark it like this. You also go ahead and connect it down to the armhole. You just place your armhole curve. You go ahead and connect it down gradually. Once you have done that, also take your scissors and cut it out. You can see how it is. The next thing that we have to do, we take our back pattern paper. So we are going to put the both shoulder seam together like this. Then we cannot adjust the shoulder seam. Instead of taking a fresh measurement, you just go ahead, place them together like this and adjust the shoulder seam and the neckline of your pattern paper. Once you have marked that, just go ahead and connect them together. From the armhole, you just connect it down like this. From the neckline, you also go ahead and connect it down. I have adjusted the shoulder seam of the front and back. The next thing that you have to do, we are going to make a design for the front of this top dress that we are making so what i'm going to do i'm going to turn my pattern paper like this so what you are going to do you place your measuring tape like this you're going to take a measurement of 3.25 inch if you're using centimeter you can go ahead and measure eight and a half centimeter just keep measuring all around once you have measured it around the next thing that you have to do you take your arm hole core like this you're going to curve it out gradually. So you place your arm hook curve, you go ahead and start curving it out. When you get down to the arm hole side, you're just going to place your arm hook curve, you're just curving it out like a little bit. You move your arm hole, you keep curving it out. You move your arm hole, you keep curving it out until you get to this point right here so that the whole thing curve out very nicely you can see how that is you can even go ahead and adjust it if you want it to be more than the chest line this is the chest line of the child that is for four years old you can even go ahead and make more adjustment you can place your measuring tape like this if you want it to be more lower you can measure down four inch or 10 centimeter you just go ahead and keep measuring down four inch or 10 centimeter all around like this just the way i am doing right now you can see how that is once you have also done it this way you also go ahead take your arm hook curve you're going to go ahead and curve it out gradually so that it blends to the arm hole so i will place my arm hook curve like this i'm just going to curve this out
you can see the way i blend the second measurement this is for four inch or 10 centimeter okay this is 8.5 centimeter or 3.25 inch so what i'm going to do i'm not going to use this four inch because i'm not going to use this i will be using this 3.25 inch or eight and a half centimeter instead of cutting out your pattern paper what you are going to do you take a different paper like this place it on top of it you can use a pin to secure the paper together once you have secured paper together you take your tracing wheel you're just going to trace this circle line on this paper right here so you just go ahead and start tracing it all around once you have traced it all out the next thing that you have to do you place your ruler or your measuring tape you just go ahead and trace out the shoulder go ahead and trace out the armhole make sure you trace it all out like this go ahead and trace out the neckline go ahead and trace out the center front so the center front it ends right here place your ruler and trace out the center front like this can see how i trace it out and continue from the neckline i have traced it out this is how it is the next thing that you have to do you take your scissors you cut it out i have cut it out this is how it is the next thing that you have to do you are going to place your pattern paper on your fabric and cut it out i'm using this fabric you can use any fabric of your choice so i'm going to show you how to cut it out what you are going to do you fold your fabric into two you are going to put the front on fold make sure to add seam allowance if you didn't add seam allowance on your pattern paper so you go ahead and pin it all around and you will also place your back pattern paper not on fold make sure to add your zipper seam allowance or your buttonhole seam allowance i have cut out my fabric both the lining you can see i have cut that out the next thing that we have to do we are going to cut these pieces out so make sure you also place it on fold like this and you take your pin you pin it all around once you have pin it all around you also go ahead and add your seam allowance so i'll go ahead add seam allowance at the neckline shoulder arm hole and around the chest line so go ahead and add the seam allowance once you have done that also cut it out the next thing that i'm going to do i am going to cut a raffle sleeve so the length that i have right here is 8.25 you're using centimeter you can measure 21 and a half centimeter and the length that i have here is three and a half you're using centimeter measure nine centimeter so what you are going to do i have shown how to cut raffle sleeve before so i'm just going to put the both fabric together and cut it out at the same time so i will take my armhole curve like this and i will place it this is the edge i will place it and i will move my armhole curve you can see it is always at the end of the fabric and i will just go ahead and use my pen or marker to trace that out once you have traced that out i will just secure the both fabric together like this just the way i'm doing it right now and i will take my scissors and cut it out so i have cut that out this is how it is what i am going to do i will take my fabric this fabric so i'm going to also cut a raffle sleeve with this fabric so what i'm going to do my cutting fabric will be longer than this lace fabric the length right now is three and a half inches or nine centimeters what i'm going to do from my cutting fabric i am going to take a measurement of four inch or 10 centimeter so that my cutting fabric will be longer than this lace fabric so go ahead and cut out your raffle sleeve and you also cut out your skirt the next thing that we have to do we are going to start putting the top dress together so what you are going to do you take your lace to your ironing board so when i take the seam allowance it was one centimeter 
but I fold inside half an inch, that is 1.3 centimeter. Because if I fold inside one centimeter, when I'm going to start stitching my armhole, my needle might catch my lace. So I don't want that to happen. So I fold inside half an inch. Once you have done that, place it like this on your top dressmaking. So what you're going to do, you're going to pin it all around. Once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine and stitch it all around. And also stitch around the neck now so that you secure the fabric together. Once you have done that, the next thing that you have to do, you are going to put the both shoulder seam of the dress together. You just go ahead, put the shoulder seam together like this and top stitch the shoulder seam once you stitch the lace together before stitching the shoulder seam once you have done that you also take your lining open the front of your lining like this put the both shoulder seam together once you have done that take it to your sewing machine stitch the both shoulder seam with seam allowance I have top stitched my lace together this is how it is i give it two stitches right here you can make one stitches or two stitches or even more stitches to secure the lace properly and i've also stitched the shoulder seam and i've also stitched the shoulder seam of my lining the next thing that you have to do you are going to pull the top dress together both front fabric are facing each other you are going to pin around the neckline. You are not pinning the armhole yet because we have to stitch our sleeve. Pin around the neckline, take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. Before you top stitch around the neckline, make sure to measure your seam allowance. My seam allowance is two centimeter. That will be for the zipper allowance. So I'm going to start stitching from here and stitch it all and end on this other side of the neckline once i am done with that i will take my raffle sleeve i take it to my ironing board i first fold inside one centimeter and i give it a good press and then i fold it inside all over again to cover the raw edges this is how i fold my sleeve i will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch and I will repeat the same process with the second sleeve. I will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch. You also take your May fabric, repeat the same process, fold inside first one centimeter and then fold it all over again. Take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. Make sure to set your sewing machine to the longest stitch and, and stitch your gather stitch thread at the top edge of your sleeve. I have stitched around the neckline this is how it is and I take my scissors and snip around the neckline and I've also hemmed my sleeve all around and I stitch a gather stitch thread on the both sleeve the next thing that we have to do we are going to take the measurement for the armhole what you are going to do you take your measuring tape you're going to measure 1.75 inch if you're using centimeter you can measure four and a half centimeter so i will take my pen i'm going to place my measuring tape like this you can see the way i curved my measuring tape like this i'm going to measure down 1.75 inch is right here and i will do the same thing on this side i will curve my measuring tape like this i'm going to measure down 1.75 inch or four and a half centimeter once you have done that i will just go ahead and turn my top dress like this and i will pick my sleeve so i'm picking the bow sleeve because i want the lace to be on top of the may fabric so what i'm going to do i will place this first before you place it on your sleeve fold it into two like this take your scissors snip the mid part once you have snipped the mid part place it at the shoulder seam take your pin pin that in place and this is the end of my sleeve push the thread aside this is where my 1.75 inch end or four and a half centimeter take your pin 
pin that and you repeat the same process on this other side make sure that when you're pinning on this side you push the edges out so what you are going to do you are going to gather the sleeve like this so go ahead and gather your sleeve once you have done that pin them together i have gathered my sleeve this is how it is before i will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch i will also pick the second pieces for the main fabric put them into two like this take your scissors make sure you snip the mid part and then you place it in between the shoulder seam and then you pick this other side of the sleeve that is the edge of the sleeve so what you're going to do pin them together like that so what you're going to do you're going to gather the sleeve I have stitched my sleeve together this is how it is i go ahead and remove the gather stitch thread make sure you should do the same the next thing that we have to do we are going to stitch the armhole all you have to do is just fold your sleeve inside like this you put the both armhole together make sure that both seam are matched once you pin that together you go ahead and pin the both armhole of your dressmaking once you have done pinning take it to your sewing machine and top stitch once you stitch them together remember to snip around the armhole core turn it inside out and take it to an ironing board and give it a nice good press I have stitched the sleeve together this is how it is the next thing that we have to do we are going to stitch the side seam of the top dress you put the side seam together like this both lining together both made fabric together go ahead and stitch the side seam together and you also come down to this other side of the side seam put them together like this take it to your sewing machine stitch the side seam with one centimeter seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric once you have done that you take your skirt so i have three pieces of skirt two for the back one for the front what you are going to do first take them to your sewing machine stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of your skirt once you have done that then you put the side seam together you top stitch the side seam with your seam allowance and you also come down to this other side put the side seam together stitch the side seam with one centimeter seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric once you have done that zigzag it with your zigzag stitches or take it to your overlocker overlock the raw edges I have stitched the side seam of my top dress this is how it is once you have done that take it to your ironing board give it a nice good press the next thing that we have to do we are going to gather our skirt on the top dress making i have pinned my skirt at the waistline of the top dress the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine go ahead and top stitch once you have done that remove the gather stitch thread I have top stitched the skirt on the top dress this is how it is once you have done that you can see how it is i take it to my sewing machine i use zigzag stitches to overlock the raw edges and i also measure inside two centimeter that is my zipper allowance you also have to do that the next thing that we have to do we are going to measure where our zipper is going to end so i will place my measuring tape and i'm going to measure it all the way that i'm taking the measurement of 11 inch you're using centimeter measure 28 centimeter once you've done that you take your marker you just mark that 
and you also come back to this other side place your measuring tape at the neckline you go ahead and measure it all the way down so you're also going to take the measurement of 11 inch or 28 centimeter you take your marker you also mark that so once you have done that the next thing that you have to do you're going to pin your zipper at the center back so when you are going to pin your zipper at the center back so i have already opened my zipper you just turn your zipper like this you pick your dress making you place the edges like right here and you just go ahead and start pinning your zipper at the center back of your dress making so the way i usually do it when i'm stitching invisible zipper at the center back of my dress making once i have pinned my zipper at the center back i will thread my needle i'll use hand stitch to stitch the zipper together then i will go ahead and remove the pin so it will be more easier for me to stitch so that when i'm stitching this pins is not getting on my way even if, I, if i'm making the dress for my online shot that is how i usually do it so go ahead and pin your zipper at the center but once you have done that take it to your sewing machine and top stitch I have stitched my zipper at the center back once you have done that go ahead and zip your dress this is how it look at the center back of the dress making the next thing that you have to do you pick your lining you fold it over like this you're going to use your lining to cover the raw edges of your zipper place it on top of the dress and go ahead and pin the lining to cover the raw edges of your zipper i have used my lining to cover the raw edges of my zipper when you get down to the waistline make sure you fold inside the seam allowance if it's half an inch fold inside the seam allowance upwards and then pin it together once you have done that take it to your sewing machine you go ahead and top stitch you come down to this other side you repeat the same process fold the seam allowance inside and top stitch once you have top stitch turn it inside out take it to an ironing board give it a good press once you have done that you use the opportunity to stitch the center back all you have to do i'm just going to zip my dress a little bit so that i can show how you can stitch your center back dress making so you put the center back of your dress making together like this you go ahead and give it a top stitch once you have done that cut out the excess of your zipper and then you can cut a piece of fabric to cover the raw edges of your zipper I have stitched the lining to cover the raw edges of my zipper this is how it look once you have done that you can see how that is and i just stitched the center back i have also stitched the center back i have also used my fabric to cover the raw edges of my zipper this is how it look right now the next thing that you have to do you are going to use your lining to cover the raw edges of your waistline so you just fold your lining inside depends on the seam allowance that you add on the waistline of your dress fold it inside go ahead and pin it all around once you have done pinning take it to your sewing machine when you are going to stitch you start stitching from the front of the fabric not from inside the fabric place your dress on your sewing machine you start stitching from the front of the fabric all around once you have done that you just go ahead and hem your dress fold inside one centimeter fold it again one centimeter and give it a top stitch once you have done that your dress is finally ready i will show you how my finally look This is the final look of my dress. Beautiful dress to make, easy tutorial, step by step. 
I have top stitch around the waistline of my dress and I've also hemmed my dress all around. You can see how that is. Please support us by subscribing, thumbs up on our video, make a comment down below if you have any question and you all should have a blessed day. Bye.